little subtle things, you know, and that if we're not paying attention, none of it makes any sense. Now, the big problem here with our government coming clean with the alien information is, okay, one, it's the fallout. They've lied to us. It's the number one thing, but nobody would be surprised by that, really. The other thing is, you know, then, then the real questions start. Well, what kind of information do you have? What kind of technology do we have? Well, wow, well, God, we built these 53 UFO craft. You did? Let me see. Boom, there they are. Well, how did you pay for these things? Um, well, that's sticky. The sale of drugs. <clears throat> that's how they've been building these things. Some of it came from black ops money, but a lot of it came from the sale of drugs. And I don't think anybody on the planet doesn't know that the CIA is doing this. And the minute beings, where should we be afraid of Right. And the minute they come out with this, what do you think is going to happen in the streets when people find out that the drug problem, the drug war, that we can't win is our own government doing it? Whoops. Civil war. It'll happen overnight. Overnight. The police will be the first ones to, you know. I mean, they're out there in the streets every day dealing with this, this energy, getting shot by drug addicts, by pushers, by the whole shebang, you know. And something they can't win because it's our government bringing this stuff in. We have AWACS, satellites, Coast Guard, Air Force, Navy, Border Patrol. You can't get a mosquito in here unless it's supposed to be. Bottom line. Yes, you. you. Um, what is the, uh, the effect on religion be more? If they came out and said, here, we got all this stuff, we've been talking, wouldn't that affect religion more than anything? Cause more chaos than, they say, you're selling drugs, but just the thought that there are a lot more races out there you were talking to, wouldn't that disrupt religion? Because we're the, you know, we're made God's image, we're the only ones here, supposedly. My most well, you mean, you mean that lie? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not here to offend anybody. You know, they have their own perspective. Um, they basically feel, and I know some of the other extraterrestrial races feel the same way, that our religions have completely outlived, outlived their usefulness um, by 450 years. And that they literally are holding us back from evolving as a planetary race. Um, they, in fact, are governments. That's how they view religions. They're governments. Um, <laughs> their opinion is that Moses is a composite character. That there was a, a soul by the name of Moab and another one by the name of Sorastris. Or Sorastris. Um, and that the actual exodus that we, is in the Bible was the Chaldean exodus. It wasn't the Jewish exodus out of Egypt. But it was just the story was rewritten and changed thousands of years ago. It's just their opinion. Just their opinion. You take it for what you want. They also say that the, the, in the New Testament, the hero of the New Testament is also a composite character. And um, to support that, at least part of that, in 1961, the Vatican, during the uh, Second Economical Council, admitted to 14 different plagiarisms in the New Testament. But they would not be specific what the, the plagiarisms were. The Sermon on the Mount um, that is attributed in the New Testament to Jesus uh, in a Turkish museum in Istanbul, they have, in the handwriting of a Greek senator, the exact same speech, word for word, written by a Greek senator, and it's dated 64 AD, and apparently was given by one by the name of Apollonius of Tyana, who was a Cappadocian sage to the Greek Senate. And apparently the Catholic Church has been trying for about 55 years to get their hands on that. And then there's the Dead Sea Scrolls. They let those out, and now you can't get them again because it tells a very different story. 